The Pacific Northwest is full of mysteries, from Bigfoot to ghost stories and, of course, the disappearance of D.B. Cooper. Another mystery buried deep in the hills of eastern Washington keeps resurfacing, a bottomless pit said to be a pathway to the paranormal. Como Forest Denise Whitaker heads east in search of the hole. Allensburg and its surrounding valleys and Menashtash Ridge are beautiful in any season. But some believe what lies beneath is a deep, dark hole with supernatural powers. One of the only people alive ever known to have seen this mysterious hole took me as far as he could or would. Oh, honey, don't go up that damn driveway. I want to see if there's tracks up here. I'm just curious. You're out of your tree going up there. Red Elk, a Native American shaman or medicine man, tells me his dad first showed him the hole in 1961. He said, this is an endless hole. He says he's been back many times and that strange things happen every time he goes near it. And people get it confused with what I call the devil's hole. Many locals claim to know about the hole, but it didn't really become a phenomenon until 1997 when Mel Waters went on the Coast to Coast radio show with Art Bell. I, as usual, I brought the dogs with me. Uh, they wouldn't go anywhere near the damn thing. Waters said the hole had a three-foot stone wall around it. It seemed bottomless to him, so he used an old shark fisherman's trick, sending thousands of feet of fishing line down. What I did is I sent down a roll of lifesavers. Lifesavers? Uh, yeah, so when it hits the water, the, the lifesavers will dissolve. But the lifesavers came back up whole, no water. So how deep was this hole? Waters said he believed it descended miles into the earth, and he says he's heard strange stories about its powers. The one guy claims that he threw his uh, departed canine down into the hole. He swear the dog actually came back to him. When Mel went public, that's when the trouble began. But why? Now I'm going public on this. Red Elk claims the government has a secret base there. It's an underground base, a very small underground base. That's how Red Elk explains white boxes covering the area on some satellite images. Is the government covering something up? Red Elk says he's also witnessed alien activity at the hole. A huge spacecraft, one will appear and, and hover over the hole. That, he says, happens during summer solstice. They unload and then they load, and then they take off. God help the things that they load. Alien spacecraft, dogs that come back to life? I went to the Northwest Museum of Legends and Lore seeking some answers. Well, I believe there is a hole. But Philip Lipson's never seen the hole, even though he's led expeditions to find it. Well, I think it's an actually a true, a true event, just something that's never really been totally uncovered. And to this day, no one's been able to find it since that famous radio conversation. It was mildly sensational, and then it just mushroomed, completely out of control. Allensburg Public Library historian Milton Waggy says the phone rang off the hook with all kinds of stories about the hole, some explainable, some not. He's still trying to solve the mystery of what happened to the library's file on Mel's hole. Well, it just disappeared, which lends itself to the mysteriousness of Mel's hole. You know, did Mel take it? Did it just sort of you know, rise out of the locked file cabinet? You never know. You know, there might be a hole out there. Question is, can any of us find it? Denise Whitaker, Como 4 News.